So this is the sign. I know in our contest, I asked people what they were looking for in a sign, and they wanted welcome, and they wanted ovals. So we're going to try and work with this one today. This is one I've been working on for a while. If you don't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. That means hit the share button. We're not allowed to say that, but you didn't hear it from me. I'm sorry, just give me a minute. I love that the closed caption is showing up. <coughs> That's really nice. One second I'm sorry I would have taken care of this in the beginning but it wasn't showing up so that wasn't helping things okay all right so like I said we're gonna be working with our, our my new ladybug sign welcome sign I have a gnome ladybug there's a lot of ladybug stuff out there um, what I decided to do, hey Will, hey Vicki, thank you, thank you very much. All right, so what I've decided to do, I'm not going to do your normal um, red wreath, we're going to work with green, and on the bottom I'm going to do the metallic in every other one, because I want it to look like the dew in the grass, that's my reasoning. So, and also, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to actually be making little wreath attachments for in the wreaths to match the sign. So, that's going to be upcoming. I'm just, I cut these at 20 inches, so we're just going to do a simple ruffle. The main, um, Emphasis is going to be on the ladybug and the sign and the bow. I'm going to try and do this without ribbon tails. How are you feeling today, Will? I hope you're feeling better. So we're just doing simple ruffles. And like I said, I'm going to do metallic in every other one on the bottom. And then I'm going to be just doing plain green mesh in between. Hi, Rachel. You guys wouldn't mind spreading the love. I'd really appreciate it. We had a rough start. It wouldn't show up. So I hate the end of the roll. It's so roly-poly, you can't work with it. Shipped out a bunch of signs today and a bunch yesterday. The big sign favorite seems to be the sister, sister sign. But I think this welcome one is going to be close to it. There was a lot of layering in this with the flowers, the ladybugs, um, a lot of layering going on. Now these I just fold down the ends a little bit and that's to help with any fraying. Keep it to a minimum. When you're working with red, sometimes it's really difficult. Um, there's so many shades of red. So I decided to pull out the green in the sign. Hi Nanny Dot. I got your message. I'm sorry. I just haven't had a chance to get back to you. I will. I hope everybody's staying safe. Okay, 
Thank you, Willie. I love yours too. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. I have to take a video later. All the puppies, their eyes are open. Mama's doing good, babies are doing good just been inundated with calls from people. Everybody wants a puppy. Hey, Bobby. I'll have a total for you later. I have to hurry up and get finished. So, we're working with my new um, ladybug sign. It's a welcome sign. And it's on an oval, vertical. Wait till you see. I think it'll either be Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Just keep watching in Robin's Re3. But I have a contest going on now with signs asking people to give me ideas of what they're looking for. And I took those ideas and I'm making a couple of signs. And so I'm going to go on a live and show them. And I'm not going to tell who asked for them. But what we're going to do. So if you haven't entered. Yeah. If you haven't entered, go in and, and put, give me an idea of what you're looking for. Um, because when we vote on them, it's going to be up to your vote to decide who's, who's you like the best. And that person that suggested that sign is going to win that sign. So don't forget to go in and enter. See, I'm using this to pull out the green in the sign. Sometimes you can get overwhelmed with the amount of reds that are out there. <clears throat> There's so many different versions of it, color-wise. So I wanted to make this look spring-like. We're going to concentrate on working with the ladybug that I made and some greenery. So that's what we're doing. on here that has purchased a sign from me if you wouldn't mind making sure you left feedback on Etsy um, you guys are blowing up my Etsy store and I really appreciate it it's exciting got a lot of ideas coming up for new um, product so it's going to get fun. Now we're supposed to start watching my grandson next week, but my son is getting laid off this week for two weeks. So we won't be watching him. Until he goes back to work. All right, so there's the bottom layer. You see? Isn't that going to look good on there? 
Hi, Ty. Welcome. We're working with my new sign. Now I'm just going to go with the plane on the top. I wanted this to look like the dew in the grass, so that was my reason behind that. Boy, this isn't value mesh. I don't know why it's doing all this fraying. Should be doing that. I'm hoping when I get done with this and all the stuff we're going to put on it that you won't notice the frame. We didn't need tails. I'm getting sick of all the wreaths with tails. There's got to be a better way to do it. So, that's just me personally. Just want to see some wreath. I want the eye to float from the sign to the add-ons and the bow. There's too much going on with everything else. So we're gonna change it up. Jack it up and change it up. That's the plan. Thank you. ribbon coming in to match signs. Don't forget, I always have ribbon, so if anybody needs ribbon with their sign, just let me know. And this little guy, little girl, is in the sign, and I actually printed her to put her on the wreath. So, the umbrella sign's been selling really well, and people are buying the umbrellas to match the umbrella sign, so that is awesome. home staying safe. some really cool signs coming up so stay tuned and I hope by the weekend to release the signs suggestions from the sign contest hi Johnny 
welcome. Mesh is really nice and stiff. Thank you for spreading the love. Appreciate it. Yes, right? That was the whole idea behind it. I love being able to match the ribbon. There we go. All right, so there's our base. We've got the metallic on the bottom, every other one, to make it look like the dew in the grass. So what we're going to do next is I'm just kind of feeling this out. Okay. Because what I, I'm not sure if I want to do it in the middle or the side. But I'm going to be putting some greenery in here. Um, probably not that one. But there's going to be some greenery in here. Let me just mess with the greenery a minute. Because we're going to have some ladybug we're gonna have our ladybug in here that I made to match the sign she's gonna be in here sitting on a bunch of leaves I think I'm gonna go with the darker green leaf that seems to be working out better I wanted it to look like she was sitting in a pile of leaves or sitting on you know in a plant that way. I think we'll make our bow next because that will determine where she's going to go. And I actually put a little bow in her hair. We had to make her look really cute. <laughs> All right, let's go for the bow. Like I said, I don't know if I'm putting tails in this. I want to try it without. All right, so I've got several here that kind of coordinate with the bow. All right, we've got the ladybugs. We've got this one that's got some green in it. We've got this dot one. We've got the red with the daisies. I have this ribbon, but I thought I would go with this. Kind of pull all these colors out. I don't know that I'm going to use that one. I may do a, a smaller bow, so we may start off with this bow and then do a smaller bow. All right. So let's start there. I'm going to do about a 14 inch tail. And about a 6 inch loop. Let's see if my pegs hold today. Still going to stay with the six inch loop. I 
Hey, Missy. How are ya? We're working with our with the welcome sign. Nope, oh, my sucker's gonna come out again today. Staying there, tired of fixing it. I think we're gonna have to go to glue. I'm going to go like two, four, just want a little pop of that color in there. You're not late, dear. After I sent you that, I thought, wait a minute, is she on her live today? I hope not. So then we're going to go with this one. Swiss dots. I love Swiss dots. I'm going to go about a half inch smaller now. Do you ever have a day where you feel like you're all thumbs? That's where I'm at today. I feel like I'm all thumbs. If you haven't entered the contest on my Facebook page, you need to do so because I've got a bunch already uh, started. So if you had an idea for a sign and you want to be entered to win a free sign, you need to, um, you need to get on there. And then we're going to go with our ladybug. Now, I think I'm going to do, like I said, I think I'm going to do two bows in this one. A patch with the ladybug. And um, some greenery. That's the plan. And I think this one's going to be three loops in the middle. Oh, crappy day, huh? We had rain. We had snow. I'm tired of all of it. I just want it to get warm. All right, I'll cut up some of my tinsel, tinsel ties here for the bow. Y'all having a good day? Y'all staying safe? another zip tie in here because I just lost part of the bow. So we're going to zip tie it down. Yep. <laughs> I told you I'm all thumbs today. Everything I try to do is going to goop. Of course I don't have my pliers down here. So I can't pull like I want to. Just pull it this way. Yeah. There. Better. Just fluff her out. 
out. using a lot of tails on this one if any want to go different oh my gosh I love these ribbons Ooh, that sounds good. I didn't get to eat my lunch yet. <laughs> like I said, everything has been going crazy. fluffing up the way I want it to. There. there we go. Much better. Now uh, it's dovetail the ends. There you go. Now, let's see where we're going to put this. I'm going to go right here. Boy, that really pops against the green. I'm loving it. Now see it? It wouldn't pop against the red if I used red mesh. That's what I. That's why I wanted to use this green. I wanted it to really make a statement, and your eye go right to that is going right to that. Okay. Just 
still having trouble with this Swiss dye. Got one ribbon that's real flimsy, and then you got the rest that's so stiff. All right, so there's our one bow. And I think this would do better if it was over here. So don't want it competing. So let's do it right here. And I'm going to use the existing tinsel ties, I think. If I can get it through there. Nope, we'll go. All right, plan B. Thank you. Yeah, I think it really, really brings your eye right to the bow and to the, and to the sign. It's not competing for it. I think, I think I'm going to go a little higher. Let me see here. Let me kind of get an idea size-wise of her. She might be better off down here. That might be, but then I'm, no. Okay, down here, up here. And then if I have to, I can put another bow right there. Sometimes you just have to step away from the creation. I've been working all morning on a sign and I finally had to step away. Creativity wasn't there. It wasn't coming to me. It wasn't looking the way I wanted it. So, just tuck this under now. Thank you. There's a lot. I love searching for designs to go in the signs. There's a lot of layering on this sign. And that was too tight. my designs I find all over the place yes I printed the ladybug to match the sign I actually blew her up and printed her I'm looking for a certain machine and I haven't found it yet but when I find it there's going to be a lot more wreath attachments coming with the signs Right? Walk away from the wreath, Missy. That's the only way to do it. Walk away. Believe it or not, you'll come back in the morning with a better, better frame of mind. And that's why I walked away from the sign. Like, I got to get away from this thing. I'll go back to it in the morning. I think that top is still too tight. 
pulling it down. Oh. It's not a full moon, is it? Yes, it is, Bobby. You're the only one that could figure it out. My computer guy actually called the next morning and said, you know, how you doing? Do you want to get together and do you want to figure out what's going on with that printer? And I told him, I said, you need to hire this girl because she took care of it and it's working fine. <laughs> so... And I actually got the Rolo printer. It's a thermal printer for my shipping labels, and that's working fine too. So, so yeah, everything so far is working. All right, we're gonna put some of these up in here. So let's start layering some. I don't think I'm gonna use these. I like the style, but I don't like the color. It's not, not working for what I wanted it to work with. Now this would work because this has actually, um, it's the variegated. So this might work for what I need it for. And I'm gonna push all these up the top. And trim this down here. I don't want all that. Oh yeah. This is going to work great. Yeah, because it's different levels. I think we need to just cut a little more off. See, it's going to pull off that green, that green. Um, I may add some of this in there too as another pop because I have some of that in the sign. So, where's that big leaf? I just want to see if I can pull that in there too. No still doesn't look right. All right. Let's hot glue some of this in place. actually glued one of those little cable ties to the back Let's see where this is I don't know why I have my needle upstairs because I need it down here not up there But you got to do what you got to do.
got one stubborn leaf here. And I think I have to push it on the other side of the tinsel tie to get it to... There we go. Didn't want to behave. Got a little bit of leaves there. And let's see. Put that over like that. So let's glue that to the bottom of that wreath or that leaf. I want it to be just a little bit out there a little more and I think that works for me and let's see do we need one out there now so I can put a daisy there and see about sticking some of this stuff out here. You've got some daisy leaves already in here. Just give it a little, a little pop of texture and color. Now here we've got several kinds of leaves and this little thing. Let's see, I think it's best if I take this apart and work with it around this. Daisy up there yet. something to break up some of the green like that yes coming from underneath on it. So let me think on this. All right. Pulling this out. Not feeling it. It's not doing it for me. So what's this? It's not 
doing it for me. So. One more of these. There it is. Like that better. What I need, and I do have them, they're little ladybugs. And I think I need to glue just a few little ladybugs on the flower. And then that's going to work with what I wanted. Let's just put one of these in here. Better. So, I want to fill this in, and I want to fill this in, but I don't want to add another flower down there. So, let me think. Let's see. Got an idea. All right. We're going to do something different. Okay. Got about a 10 inch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one loop in there. All right, just one loop. And I'm going to attach it right here on the side. I told you this was going to be something different. Okay. So then. We're going to take it up this way and around the wreath, all right? That's what I'm looking at. I'll get back to the ladybug. I'll figure her out. She's not for this wreath right now. So I think she needs to be smaller. I think that's what's, what's bugging me. All right, so we're going to put a, a, a little loop every so often here. Tie it in the tinsel tie. We're just going to keep it running all the way around. And then we're going to, I don't want it tight in between, but I don't want it laying loose either. It's just going to pull out some of the colors in the sign. And just make it look whimsical. Okay. So then we're gonna, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing? Hi, Carol. I just want it to continue all the way around. So instead of, instead of uh, ribbon tails, we're just going to get do a continuous looping all around. Why not? I'm daring to be different today. You guys saw it here first. Okay? Robin's Ribbon Trail. How about that? Has anybody done this? Probably. What do you think, Levon? Qu quit eating. Do some talking to me. Sounds great. The name Willie. 
Robin's Ribbon Trail. I'm still going to need something in there, so I'll figure it out. But see, I'm just going around loosely and making one loop and putting it in the tinsel tie. Hey, there she is. All right. Yahoo! See, I knew if I stayed with it long enough, I'd come up with something different. I purposely did not cut tails to make myself design on the fly and come up with a different idea. Because I'm sick of cutting ribbon tails. Robin's Ribbon Trail. All right. Woohoo! I love it. And see, you can adjust it, make it different, twist it. Just something out of the ordinary. I can even put a little cheater boa over here if I wanted. Now you watch, everybody will be doing it this week and then they'll be naming it something else. But I have it time stamped, right? Something different. Good God, people, we gotta come up with something different. Everybody's wreath is starting to look the same. I loved Missy's wreath the other day. In fact, I was gonna try it today, but I didn't have any green to do the base with the Jackie's, whatever that method is. There. And see, I've got the green, and the green allows me to put this pop of color on here. And you can't it'll it'll pop because it's against the green not against red it's time to design design on the fly and stop making it look like everybody else's and then I'll bring it back here and I can let's just make a little a little bow just out of this ribbon. With like five loops. Let me see, they need to be smaller. Okay, Rachel came up with it first. Rachel, you just burst my bubble. <laughs> Thought I was coming up with something that hadn't been done before. But that's okay. Perfectly understand. Now I think I'm going to pull some of this from behind. So, where is my... put that down in my easy bow to hold it and then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to put behind it go in here and put this in place and then bring the other one and put it on top of it hey Lillian how 
are you? this get our side bow going here turn this around there we go see I knew I could figure out something today sign design wasn't working for me so I had to get into this Okay, so I think in order to fill that hole, I think I'm going to put some of this red ribbon in there. I think that's what I need, a pop of red in there. Don't mind me, I'm just thinking. Maybe just a simple cheater bow in there. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. That's what it needs. I'll go back to the drawing board with the with the um, ladybug, but this is what I want on it. Okay, thoughts? What do you think? Yay, nay. Where's my other daisy? on <laughs> I think that really added some pop okay y'all left me all alone again get out of you don't like it Let's 
something else in here. Oh, okay. All right, good. Because if I don't tell me I just spent all this time and, and everybody hates it. Uh, just something, yeah, right? It really looks good against the green. The green really makes this sign pop. And that's what I was trying to accomplish. And I didn't want to do a bunch of ribbon tails. I'm tired of doing ribbon tails. I needed something, something else. And I think that, that just made it. Let's bring this up here. On this side. There we go. All right, she'll be in my Etsy store, hopefully by tonight. Um, if you haven't entered the contest for a sign, make sure you did, um, because I'm making five signs and I've already got three or four made. So if you have an idea, you need to put it on there because either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, I will post them and the sign with the most votes, the person that came up with that sign, will win the sign for free. Oh, I love this. It just finishes it off. whoop de doo Maybe I could put some little daisies in there. Maybe that's what it needs. Smaller daisies. I'll have to find them. But I'm liking it. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Like I said, go in and make sure you added an idea to the contest. And uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I wish I had some of these things. Like they have little snowballs on the top. I really like that. I think that would work. I have it in yellow. But I don't think I have any in white. I don't know. I'll play with it. Thank you. All right, guys. I'll see you soon, and thank you. Have a good day.